Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Rick. I do hope you're having a great day. Uh, today is day, I don't know, four, five, six. I've completely lost count of the number of days we've been working on this studio, but we're going to carry on with it today. Right, well, we've made some pretty good progress. Uh, we've, we've literally gone almost from the door now all the way around to uh, the far wall. So I've, I've essentially, I've got two walls covered and later today, I've got another single box of these tiles arriving, which will allow me to finish off. So I literally have just the two full walls. And um, we've also gone for ceiling. I've put a load of the sound absorbing tiles on the ceiling. I was gonna go for the whole lot. And then actually I think uh, that would be too much. So I went for the checkerboard pattern and you can probably hear the sound absorption is, is considerably better. There's no echo anymore. There is a slight bit of echo, but that's because I've got a big, uh, big blank wall there. But as soon as I get that covered up, hopefully later today, and I'm gonna get a set of floor to ceiling curtains from li literally that curtain rail at the top there, right at the ceiling, uh, get a bunch of curtains there, and then hopefully we should be good on the echo. The only possible uh, culprit would be this, this little bit of wall here and this back of this door and this bit here. But I could always get another packet of these sound absorbent tiles and just get a bit creative there. But I'm not even sure that'll be necessary. We'll see. I wanna say massive thank you for all of the uh, amazing comments I've been getting. Uh, lots of you, uh, guys have been encouraged by what I'm doing and think it's great. Some of, the, some of you think I'm absolutely off my rocker, um, which is fine. Um, you, you know, maybe not far wrong. But I really do appreciate all the ideas and suggestions you guys have been sort of brainstorming and thinking about. And I've been having people giving me lists of possible uh, suggestions for topics and things like that, which is, is so good. So I'm saving all those to a little file and I'm, I'm, you know, I've got plenty of reference material. It's, it's really good. But I should point out that <laughs> you're seeing these videos probably almost up to a week after they've happened. I'm kind of running, I think I mentioned it before, I'm kind of running a little bit behind with the publishing of the videos. So it's <laughs> it's a bit awkward, because sometimes somebody will come up with a really good comment or a really good suggestion. Um, but I'm like, I'm, I'm a week ahead. So <laughs> by the time I see that suggestion, it's already too late. But what I'm trying to do is tr try working on getting these video logs up so that I'm closing that gap so that, you know, you actually get to see it more real time or almost real time um, than a week after it's all happened. Um, the problem is, of course, this is taking up all my time and it actually takes a long time to edit these videos. I, I can kill an entire day just editing one video log. So um, there's a bit of a balance to be struck. Uh, what I'm actually doing is getting up really early in the morning to edit a video log and then try to get that up. But uh, even then they still take, you know, a good, good several hours and that obviously deducts from the time um, I've got in the day to do this stuff. So it's a bit of a balancing act to be struck, but I don't mind, it's all good. And like I say, I, I, I live to do stuff like this. I know this is literally taken up an entire bedroom in the house. This is, you know, my entire creative space is now this uh, <laughs> sort of studio. Although to be honest, I mean, <clears throat> I, I'm sure there are people out there that would be quite happy to decorate their bedroom walls with stuff like this. Um, to, to be honest, if you've got rough walls like I had, it, it hides a multitude of sins. It's really good. Um, I should also point out, I ran out of those little uh, pins. I've been putting up these, this foam stuff with these tiny, tiny little map pins. Um, now I ran out, so I had to temporarily uh, tack this one and that one into place. And if you look closely, you can see they're all a bit wobbly. Um, all I've done is I've used some old fashioned drawing pins. I like two drawing pins on each set of nine, um, just to temporarily pin them into place. But I can go back over them now with the proper pins and square them off like these. These are nicely squared off. Those are all over the place. Uh, so I will work on those today. But got to address the, uh, not quite the elephant in the room, but 
it, it might as well be, it's, it, it's big enough. Um, but this is my power tower. Now, originally I was going to just leave it tucked away in the corner, but I think this is the final piece of the jigsaw to make this studio the best it can be. And I think it needs to be gone, like not in this room. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not getting rid of it. I use it all the time, it's really useful, um, but it needs a new home. So I've worked out, done some measuring, got my tape measure out, um, worked it out. This is going to be relocated in the conservatory downstairs. Uh, so I'm going to take that apart today, going to get rid of that. And all of a sudden, I think this room is going to suddenly feel a whole lot bigger. And uh, there's going to be a whole lot more in the way of options uh, opening up to me. Now, one of the things I've been thinking about quite a lot, and I've got to say thank you to a lot of you guys, because you've been giving me lots and lots of different suggestions and ideas for content. And originally I was thinking, right, I just want the one setup. But what, why, why would I need to have just one setup? I was thinking like, you know, two chairs, two microphones, a little table and some fancy lighting. And that's all well and good. But if it's just like a solo podcast, why would I have two chairs? Why not take one away when you don't need it? And that idea evolved and I thought, well, hang on a minute. If I'm doing like fireside chats, then why not have a little fireplace? And I've got a fireplace downstairs, or oh, it's an artificial one, but I can bring it up here. And for the fireside chat podcast, I can slide in that fireplace with a little fireside chair, fancy lighting again, nice, nice little plants, nice atmospheric feel to it. And I can do my little fireside chats. But then if I'm going to do like an interview, I can pull in like those two, maybe those two cream colored chairs or two fireside chairs, slide the fireplace out of shot or in shot, depends if I need it, see what it looks like. Um, but I can change the setting as the content dictates. And that's a much, much more versatile approach, I think. And it opens up a whole new world of more possibilities, you know, because you, you, you're not just stuck with the one theme. So what I would need would be a little bit of space there to sort of drag the bits of furniture that aren't being used. Um, I'd need to drag those out of shot, you know, in the times where they're not being used. That's why this is going to kind of get in the way. Um, but yeah, I, I can see me in this room having, you know, four chairs. I've got those like wing, wing chairs. I've got those uh, sort of reclining buckety chairs. I'd need a little table of some description, um, the fireplace. I've got that old TV there. That's an old flat screen TV. That was my old, old one. It's only 45 inches. Um, if I get that on a stand, I can pull that in. So every now and again, I might need a podcast where I need a, a backdrop of a like a TV screen as opposed to inserting a, you know, a, a video overlay and then I can put things on the TV if necessary. But then obviously I can be able to drag the TV out when I don't need it. Now originally I was thinking about attaching the TV to the wall, but it would be much better on a stand because then you, you just opened your options up. But yeah, it's all, the, the, the creative juices are flowing, the creative, the, you know, the, the creative synapses are really sparking at the moment. And the number of options I've got going on here um, are growing by the day and um, I'm really quite excited about you know the kind of things that I could be doing with this room because um, this this will have to also serve as my guest bedroom so this this room will have a dual use uh, so this is my creative space for obviously for um, podcasting and maybe, maybe the occasional Rick Van Man video and stuff but um, I think uh, if I've got guests that want to come and stay, they'd probably end up in this room. So I'll have to get a couple of camp beds or something uh, that I can fold up. Or if there's enough room, I could probably get a sofa in here, like a little sofa bed, although that would take up quite a bit of space. Um, don't know. All of these thoughts going on, but I need to get on. So uh, it's quite early in the morning at the moment, about nine o'clock, I think. Uh, or actually, it's about 8.30. It's, it's, I got up really early this morning to finish editing a video. Uh, a quarter past nine, there we go. Uh, so I'm gonna get on and I'll be back. And we're back. Okay, so it's uh, 
quite a lot later, oh, this is the first time I've spoken aloud with all of these walls covered and the curtains up. And I've suddenly noticed how, how less echoey this place is. Although we're still waiting on the tiles for this, this wall here. But if I move over here, the echo should, yeah, the echo's completely gone here. But um, yeah, that's one big wall. Now I have repainted it. Uh, I've painted up all over the patches and the same for the underside there. Um, all of the patches are now taken care of. I've got the curtains, which I would draw, uh, which these are just floor to ceiling curtains. And once again, they take care of the, the echo. So we're now three walls covered. So we've gone right up to the edge. Uh, these are all now properly in place. And we've basically got two full walls covered. These go right round to the, uh, to the edge there. Obviously you've got all the ceiling, which I mentioned earlier, but we do have a very cool thing. Oh, <laughs> I knew I was in the middle of doing something. I, I've been putting up like this white self-adhesive uh, plastic or well, vinyl all around the edge. It just covers up a whole bunch of scars up there, but I, f I forgot. I've still, you can see the difference there. I've still got to do that little bit along here. So I shall get on and do that shortly, but there's a reason why that's up there and I'll show you. Let me do it with the lights on first. There we go. <laughs> We've got our first bunch of lights installed and they live around the top. It's just an ambient lights and you can change uh, the colors to whatever you want. Um, and you can brighten them or dim them. So you can dim them right down uh, or you can brighten them up. And some nice sort of warm colors, got some oranges and reds and purples and cool colors. So that's the initial uh, look. It looks really, even in this tiny little screen, that looks really good. Let's just shut the door here, or at least turn the light out. Um, yeah, quite pleased with that. Uh, like I say, you've got all your different colours. So that's the first lights installed. I've also installed some electrics for the accent lighting. So what I've done is I've uh, installed uh, a little unit here, which has a whole bunch of uh, USBs uh, in it. And then I've channeled the USBs through cable trunking so they're, they're not trailing wires everywhere. And I've got USB-C uh, cables poking out of the wall at very strategic places. Um, and those will connect to some little lights that I've got, which will put color accents on the walls. Um, and then it should look really good. So I'm not gonna do that yet. I've still got a lot of faffing about to do, but I will show you either in this video or the next one, uh, the whole thing with uh, the accented lighting, but it looks really good. So, uh, there we go, so we've made some progress. I also managed to get rid of all that paper that I had in the corner there, and I wasn't sure what I could do with it. I've managed to distribute it into the office. Now it turns out that uh, there, there were basically two A4 stacks and they fit perfectly in these two little cubby holes, which I wasn't counting on. And then the A3, I actually stacked them beneath my printers. Now it's pushed my printers a little bit high up in the air, um, but I can still work with that, even if I have to get a little stool and stand on it. But um, the, only, the only problem I might have is with the scanner because it's not at eye level. Um, but that's my like, squeaky floorboards all over this house, but never mind. But yeah, so I've managed to get those things out of the room, which means that I'm starting with a completely empty room. There's nothing in here. This is a completely blank canvas awaiting uh, creativity. So I'm really rather chuffed and uh, all I've got to start doing now is, well, I'm going to get that, that little bit of uh, white done next. That's done and dusted then. And then I've got a whole bunch of other things I've got to get on with. And no doubt I'll come back to you. Uh, well, so I'll come back to you at the end of the day and we'll see how far we've got. Right then, so I've just been experimenting with some coloured lights. Um, I have no clue as to 
what lights are, uh, are good and what lights are not. I've yet to research it, but this is what we've got so far. Um, so essentially I've just got this really nice backdrop um, and the little colored lights. It's got these little RGB video lights. They just sat on the floor at the moment, although I think I might put them on the little stands and I can change them to whatever color we want. Now we can't do those remotely, unfortunately. This one I can do remotely, but it came as a pair, but the, the slave unit that comes with it has given up working. And this one is fine, I can change it, but I have to go through an app and it's really fiddly. So if I just, um, I can change the, the color, just sort of, you know, make it blue or green um, and change the brightness as well. So, but to be honest, there's no need for remote controlled lights. Once you've got this set up, uh, I think there's no, absolutely no need to, um, need to change them. So I think those little, those little, these are just like cheap little RGB lights will do. But then obviously I've got to think about like the main key light, which is going to be, uh, I've got this big L LED uh, thing with the, the little shutters on. Um, and then I need a fill light. And then hopefully we can get a scene lit up quite well. Now, I may uh, look into, these are actually clip-on lights. So I may, when I've got furniture in here, I may actually clip those to the back of the furniture to sort of point to where it's got to go. Um, I don't know, I, I, lots of experimentation in our future, I think, we're just trying to figure this out. But this is the basic premise for the studio and I think uh, it looks okay. I'm quite pleased with it. Obviously, if I was gonna film something like this, it would be on a, well, I've got a camcorder to start with, so I'm gonna use my camcorder. I've got my big pro camera, which a friend of mine's got in Spain, but he's coming over in a few months time and he's gonna be bringing it with him. So I get my big pro camcorder back again as well. So I can use that. And yeah, that, <laughs> so that, that's where we're at at the moment. Um, now, if you've got any um, good uh, tips on how to get your colour combinations right uh, to make for a really good backdrop, I'm sure there's videos out there on the subject uh, and I will no doubt uh, be looking up uh, what to uh, do. But yeah, this is it. I'm, I've got to admit, I'm really pleased. Um, let's put the lights on again. So even with the lights on, you can still see the, the shading going on there. So that's good. Um, but yeah, I think those little, these little clip-on lights, I think they'll actually be better off on the little stands that they came with. It just raises them about a foot off the ground. But now all, all I've got to think about is getting some furniture in here, some more lighting, and we're going to go from there. So I'm not going to do that tonight. It's getting quite late now, um, and I'm still waiting for my other tiles to arrive, which are going to go on this wall here. I'm really impressed, actually. That looks really patchy. Uh, earlier when, I, when I'd gone over it with the paint, but it, now it's dried, it's completely blended, and it just looks like a really clean wall. I've got a couple of tiny witness marks to where the, uh, these little metal bolt things were um, in that were holding up the, the batten for the work surface. Um, but like I say, that's all going to be covered in some cheaper file, because these were, these were not the cheapest, but I wanted this shape, but I've got the cheaper ones to put on there because that's just a, it's a nondescript wall. It's not gonna be part of the, the process. I just need it to not be echoey. So anyway, on that note, I think we can end this video. I don't know whether this is video three, video two, video four. Uh, I, I just, I'm so out of sync at the moment. I can't, can't remember what, what it is I've done because I've been multitasking like crazy, just grabbing the camera on and off where I can. Um, but that's where we're at at the moment and I think it's been quite a successful project. And like I say, it still isn't finished yet. I've still got this, this one to go, but uh, really looking forward to tomorrow when I'm gonna start moving in some of the furniture, have a little shuffle around of some of the, the furniture, the, you know, the setups. I've got one of the plants has arrived. I've got two more plants arriving tomorrow. Uh, so I've got a big, I think it's a Kentia palm, which is like an artificial one. And I've got two um, mother-in-law's tongues or San Sofiria's um, arriving tomorrow. So uh, they'll be obviously backlit and hopefully look really cool. 
But anyway, that's for a whole other video. So that is it for this video. So thank you for watching. Have a great rest of the day and I will see you in the next video. Until then, take care.